everybody, sorry for the delay. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a quick intro because we are actually in the server now, but we have week three of season five of the Due Process League. We've got Los Muchachos versus Yokuza. Um, should be an interesting matchup. We saw an emergency come in, emergency sub come in for um, Los Muchachos here last second. So that'll be interesting how that plays out. Picked up uh, community Sweet favorite, Ubu Sweet Tea. So that'll be a... <laughs> A, uh, a fun little sub in, not a bad player, so hopefully they don't lose too much momentum, but they had a good couple weeks coming into this one, and um, Yakuza, we know they play a good game, so it'll be a, uh, a fun matchup. Hopefully we can see a potential upset from Los Muchachos, but I think I think Yakuza is, is too strong. Um, obviously, a Doodler, joined by Sick Gamer, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic. Who do you think takes this, man? I mean, my money money is always on Yakuza here. They're one of the top two teams here, and I mean, Hastage. Oh, they're not Hastage anymore. They just came to Los. Uh, formerly Hastage. Los Muchachos. Formerly Hastage. That's the word. Uh, yeah. We've seen some do some good things here and there, but I don't know. They, they, the coercion is going to be a little bit hard, and the fact that they just got an emergency sub. Yeah. And I was talking to them before, and they were like, "Yeah, we don't have any of our snipers, so it's going to be a little that'll rough." Be, for them. That'll be funky, but I, I hope they, you know, can can take that. Take that kind of rough, rough go of things, and and show that they can hold their own against Takuza. So, and they've they've shown against GB mm -hmm. in the past week one, I believe, had a pretty good showing, and then a good showing against Gnomes. But in on Operation Pasture King, we're getting started. It's first round. All right, yeah, it seems like they're gonna be bringing up that uh, saber there to see a store. It makes sense. We see the bomb gets placed, and they're setting up here. They gonna clack it <laughs> or wait? There they go. Okay, bomb goes out. We see some shots going in. Sweet Tea trying to get some damage in. Jet trying to shoot in the Sweet Tea in that arcade. Uh, Tetra is, I think, gonna try and sneak a little bit on their jet. Many shots going out. Asma managed to take out Roach and uh, Tetra managed to take out Ghetto. Jet managed to get Dr. Candy there, though. Jet running in and fighting there with Tetra. <laughs> Tetra runs in and gets Jet in that freezer. We see a Sweet Tea trying to take out Tommy on that bomb. It's getting a little bit of damage there, but not doing too much to think. Oh, but Tetra does get taken out by Ku there. Okay, we just see Texas Red, Asbo, and Sweet Tea so th er, against Coop and uh, Tommy, who Tommy actually managed to get taken out by Sweet Tea there. And Coop does manage to get that revenge kill on Tommy, and it, Texas takes out Coop, and round goes to uh, Los Muchachos. They're going to screw happened, up that man? name now. <laughs> that was a, a flurry of, of, of trades there. I, I didn't really... Normally, I, I can kind of tell how a round is unfolding, you know, piece by piece, but that was just the attackers went in and everyone died. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't get uh, too long to take a look at what uh, what the setup was there, but it really just as soon as they entered that storefront, it was just you know attacker angles and a defense angles and vice versa, and ended up being you know one side just getting the the frag advantage there. But that was a a quick round there. Yeah, I was. I think I thought you were like, yeah, no, Yakuza is gonna win this, and then like first round, I was like, oh, um, okay, maybe, maybe not, gonna... maybe not. Yeah. Oh, well, that is a, a little early bit start for, for Los Muchachos. I love Asmo that. picked awesome. up that saber. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Well, that'll be, that'll be huge going yeah. into this factory, too. Yeah. Very, very long, just kind of wide factory. Um, we've seen this Blood Anvil a couple times before. Um, getting control of that server farm is kind of a priority for a lot of teams because what they can do is I've seen, if you want to exert a lot of utility, you can go for kind of a ballsy up through Pipeworks um and go for a lights play and then maybe send that well, they don't have the saber now but you could send that saber out through that server farm bottom door um you just have so many lines of sight out through that office onto the bat pipe works but that sniper isn't in play for them on the attacking side so we're gonna have to see how they're going to adjust their play style on you know such a such a long range map without that kind of long range support which will be interesting to see how they how they account for that here but that's coming farm in on is that. A pretty, yeah. uh, it's yeah, pretty hard it, push if they're locking it down mm -hmm. as well as you can see with those barbs. Looks and stuff. like that's what yeah. they're doing, yeah. Oh, Definitely yeah. a hard call for that server because they're gonna have to get out somewhere, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of a lot of entries for the attacking side that really bodes well for them without a sniper. And so I think that's kind of what they're calling is they don't have that saber. Not a lot of options for them. They're probably just gonna go the safe route onto that server farm and and maybe they're gonna try for um kind of a last ditch lights play to, to make their lives a little easier coming into this map, but I don't see them taking any nods off the off the van wall, so it could be completely dry server farm take here. 
Yeah, we see Tetris taking out the mop here. So yeah, they're going to have a little bit of problem with that. It does seem... Yeah, so they're definitely locking down that, that server. I'm surprised, honestly, that we might not see a green push here. Because I feel like since you said they don't really have any snipers, I feel like yeah, green is appear. honestly an easier push. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to be showing any presence there at all unless... It, it, I see a, a three marked on the server farm, so they may take that breach and then rotate two over to the storage green, but it Maybe. doesn't look like that's what they're setting up for. Bomb goes out. We see some shots. Ooh, Sweetie trying to get some damage in there. I think manages to melt Ku and Jel Jet there. They're not dead, but they're oh really God. hurt. Get the they're definitely going to remember that name there. We see them going in. I think trying to get some shots on... I think what they see is Tetra there, but I'm not entirely sure. See, yeah, they are locking down. You see Dr. Candy, Sweet, and Aswell watching that top door, and Tetra's got that other one locked down. I think he's going to maul it off. That's a good maul there for that bomb. Mm -hmm. You see the smoke go out. And I think they're just using that to cover that sight lens. So they can get through to where Tetra's looking right now. We see Aswell rotating on the other side there. Going to try and help out Tetra there. See, yeah, Roach is holding back there. We see, I think Jet's going to try and go through on a flash there. I see flashes yep, go out. We out. see Jet, Tommy, and or Ghetto, and Roach all over there. Tommy takes out Tetra there. That whole left side is actually theirs right now. We see, oh, Doc, Aswell takes out Tommy. We see Doc Candy take out Roach. We see... Oh, Jet takes out Sweet or Sweet Tea and Ghetto managed to take out Dr. Candy. Aswell gets the revenge kill on Ku oh, there. Jet's on the bomb oh, Jet's just on the bomb. All, all Ghetto has Aswell's to do is gonna run that. around, takes him out, and then Ghetto does take Aswell there. That does make sense here. All right, we can see Texas. Texas got the health lead. He can probably do this. He's just got to play this a little Lots safe. Lots of time, too. Ghetto is definitely playing it a lot safer, though. He is sneaking around. He definitely, the only thing Ghetto has an advantage here right now is if he can just, I don't know, maybe confuse him where he is. And Texas does seem a little confused. Yeah, we see the mind games coming through here. He's playing a very slow game to get up to bomb there. But mm -hmm. we go a little sound key, we should hear him and now. He's gonna Oh I mean, he's faking a little bit. He's gonna try and bait him out here. I think he's got a swing. Taking the bait too much. But yep, he gets it. it. <sighs> Two round lead for Los Muchachos against Yokusa. I really think just that I'm really surprised they went for that server farm. And they, they got pretty far, honestly, into docks there. And then they just, yeah. all the people sitting back here were ready for this push. And, you know, aiming for this push isn't as hard as, or isn't too much different from aiming for the docks push as well. So they just moved fire and managed to put shots down range. I mean, I, I can't tell if that was just a matter of them uh, without that saber on that factory. I, I don't want to say it's a losing round, but you're just kind of losing on so much long range support coming onto that bomb because bomb smack dab in the middle of those long angles there i can't tell if that was them just kind of having a utility disadvantage or if they just got timid on that push but you know they just gave the ones out um yeah both sides kind of like angles, trading for timid. a good bit yeah. like one here one there one there it's honestly i think it's funny it that's, came down to yeah. 1v1 no that's that's how the last round went too it was just entry and then trade after trade and then the round's over i haven't really seen many decisive takes of map control except for you know their their initial rooms from yakuza and that might be their downfall here is they're just not extending a, you know far enough into the map and once it gets time for them to make their move onto the bomb they just have too many angles to worry about um so hopefully we know one more round left on uh, operation vice break Let's see if yakuza can turn that around get a one two half and you know approach the next split and, and hopefully get some rounds up here and, and make up that deficit they've set up for themselves because those Muchachos have really stepped up here. Um, it's kind of how they've been the last couple weeks. I mean, week one, they had that matchup versus Global Breakout, getting five rounds off in the two games. I mean, 5-14 isn't, you know, crazy, but considering who that's up against, you know, that's GB, one, you know, one of, if not the best the team in the game. team, yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> formerly, you know, then Hostig going up against them and, you know, showing them what they're made of. I'm honestly not too surprised that they're kind of asserting their dominance here, even with their emergency sub. Which is that's that's another thing too. They're they're playing with Sweet Tea, not a uh, not a, um, a a regular team member, so they're kind of going off a disadvantage. But Sweet Tea's like kind of setting up good uh, too. That last yeah. uh, that's last match where he basically just melted Jet and Kui at the start. Yeah. There, that was really big yeah. for them. No, they haven't really lost much momentum at all. Um, looks like Yakuza is heading up for that. You know beach take i don't see any other breach utility i don't know what they have at the moment i should have looked at that but it may just be a full beach push again uh, they've lost saber. both rounds so they don't they can only go green oh yeah that molly, a very early molly there <laughs> what a way to assert dominance sweet tea just joining the team is like all right i've run this team now you guys are playing was... off my mollies 
We're seeing That's both awesome. uh, snipers come out here. That's going to be good. Yeah, it's honestly, a base push, even if they didn't have the bomb, I think is kind of a... Or even if they did have some charges, I think it's honestly a good play here. Mm -hmm. We see them easily get into that base. They're not going to try and contest it too much. It's not really worth it for them. We see Tetris trying have... to get a shot. Oh, my spider's Doesn't... everywhere. Ironically, Tetra takes that shot, but ends up actually taking about the same damage as getting hit with the mob. Does take out Kudo, oh, that's a headshot, I'm pretty it. sure, because I think it was full health. Yeah, yeah. We see, oh, oh, Tommy takes out Tetra there, so that's that mop down. We see, oh, get him in to get around and get Sweet Tea. Asper trying to take out Ghetto there. It's a few shots get fired, not much, but Tommy is hurt. Ghetto is taking some damage with that molly. They're stuck in that base there. Jet, I think, is waiting on that pit push. See Texas Red. Oh, Asbo's gonna open that. I think trying to get them over there. Tommy's moving into that bomb. He's the flash going to castle. Tommy is on that bomb. We're gonna see Candy try and oh, no. take out Tommy there. I think Tommy. Oh yeah, Tommy does get taken out by Candy. Another flash. I think. I think Candy is whole flash kind of running around right now. And then a few shots between Ghetto and Roach. Uh, of they might got, have this defuse. They got Candy. Ghetto takes out Asbo. Texas trying to see what he can do. Trying to take some shots on Roach. It, and yeah. the defuse does go to Yakuza there. Okay. That was very smartly played. I mean, that castle, I mean, we've, we've seen kind of castle bomb setups like that, where that bomb is just right on the edge of that window. I think on some angles, you probably could do like a cheeky jump shot from one of these windows here to get a diffuser in the corner. But, you know, once you're you're that saber in castle and all your teammates are dead, I, I don't think you win that. If they're on bomb, they, they have that 100%. Yeah. Um, what a what a good turnaround from Yakuza there. I mean, that split with a 1-2 uh, looked a little shaky for the first couple of rounds for whatever mm -hmm. reason, if they were just... Uh, I don't know what the problem may be there, but, you know, got off to a rocky start, and now they got a round up. So that's, you know, a good way to say, okay, we, we're not lost here. We can take a couple of rounds, take our licks, and take it right back at them. Um, mm -hmm. Back on the defense set here for Yakuza. So we'll see how they set this up. Um this map operation pasture king this is this was a fun one this was literally just a wall charge and it looked like that's yeah there it is it's i feel like this is going to be the same situation i mean you got these long angles like uh ghetto just drew from arcade fridges you can play swings from freezer it's it, this map is honestly just a frag fest and that's, yeah, we that's saw, really all I think is. it was Sweet Tea last uh, time on this map where it was shooting from Arcade, and I think managed to take out Tommy over here and such. So that was mm. a pretty good... That's a good sight on the bomb, honestly. So it definitely... You're going to have to smoke that off unless you... Or if you're trying to do a quick, you know, the quick defuse that some people try. Yeah. No, of course. But I, I can't really see a world in which they split this. I mean, maybe they could send a, a couple to storage on the uh, Muchacho side, but... I honestly think it's just going to be a five man through that wall charge. Yeah, I don't none really... of the other maps are really that great for the wall charge, unless you mm -hmm. want to try and do that server and wall charge and factory. So the wall charge is going to go out here, and it's a sea store wall charge. So of course. Yeah, no, of course, but definitely kind of a counter. They're hard reading that uh, that storefront front push with the barbed wires there. Is that Could a be... nade in that box? Do you see that nade there in is. that box next to storefront? <laughs> there is. It looks like. Okay, yeah. I that my my initial thought was that's a hundred percent a tetra grenade, right? So I look over in the profile pictures, and that's that's Tetra who claimed it. So someone on that team has played a casual, walked you, through there, and someone walked out with a cheeky, shotgun on them. You, you know that players. happens. You don't make that mistake twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll we'll see if anyone that, that that could be just kind of a power move. It's like okay, we're gonna take this breach. Someone's probably gonna be middle storefront, and if you go there to hide, you're gonna die. It may not catch anyone off guard because it looks like they've gone to their kind of backwards Respective corners here. Yeah. Yeah inward facing angles. I don't know if they're going to be that close in, but see so they're kicking shed. Are they? No, they're not going to go shed. I think, they, I think they may just be faking the freezer take to pull some pressure off of that storefront from the that freezer angle there. Yeah, which could be smart. Molly out. Yep, has Molly out. out. It is, they didn't take out that uh, bar there. I thought they would have done that. Oh, we see a smoke go out on that tellers. That's a that's good smart. idea actually. That's gonna that's gonna keep ghetto from being that's able to use that thing. Like, they're getting into freeze there. Ku actually managed to take out uh candy there. Okay, that actually works out pretty well for them. We see the Molly go out. I think it's gonna do some big damage to Texas. Does kill Texas actually. Oh no. We see Tetra's all the way in that backside. We see Sweet Sweetie managed to get ghetto. I think there's that hole there. We see Jet, I think he's gonna try and run around and take out Asbo there. Takes out Asbo. Oh, no. Going for Sweet Tea. Take out Sweet Tea. Oh, no. Now it's just Tetra take oh Tetra managed to take out Roach and it's taken out by Ku. Damn, oh Jet my... and Koo pulling those legs there. that's Jet moment. They, they just didn't turn around. They were so focused on that, that right side of the map. They didn't even think that someone would come around through that freezer arcade area. And he took advantage of that. That barb's gone. All right, I'm just going to run through it. Why not? <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. Oh, it's 2-2. What a, uh, what, what a funky map.
I, I think that's just kind of a, a one of those maps where you have the the very clear meta play, and as long as you, you know, if if you execute it correctly, and and don't allow for any jet flanks with a shotgun, you know, that's that's a pretty in the background, but you know, can go either way. Got to make sure that execution is on point, and sometimes little it's a due process. Sometimes you get flanked by a shotgun and half of your team dies. That's just kind of how yeah. it goes sometimes. <laughs> And then sometimes you pull out the shotgun and shoot someone two inches away and they don't die and then you get sad and then you eat more and then you get worse. You hate worse. to see it. You hate to see it. And it's I never you have... getting the cool plays with the shotguns. It's always you getting the, the, the short end of the stick on that one. You're always the one dying. You I may have yourself, a very love-hate relationship with these shotguns, but I can't quit them. Oh, yeah. It's it's addictive, man. <laughs> Just for that love one a, time. The one time DL it kills. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We're back on that Operation Blood Anvil. Um, I don't believe they used their saber in that first round. I'd be surprised if they brought it in. I didn't see it, so they'll have a little bit easier of a time, I think, getting some of these longer angles cleared on the Luz Muchachos attacker's side than Yakuza did on their second round on the, the first split there. Um, and we'll, I guess, see a little bit different of a setup. I think they're going to be going full green here. It's If they're I'm actually surprised about that because since they do have Saber, it's pretty good. Although mm. I guess maybe they want to save Saber towards Dome, but yeah, saving for that Torch, third round. Honestly, yeah. it's not that bad of a plan here. Just getting in that office is really nice. Then you can take out that dock from here. Because like, I mean, obviously as we're seeing here and what we saw last time is they're gonna want to watch that server farm. That server farm is pretty powerful if you don't watch it. And that's why I feel like a lot of mm -hmm. people lock it down immediately with a bunch of barbs because you can just yeah. easily get on that pipe works and such from there. That it's yeah. incredibly dangerous. You look up the northeast side of the map over in here one of my favorite map interactions in the maps that i've played so far it's a little cubby right there's a little hole there yeah <laughs> i have seen more times than i'd like to admit a team of attackers full sprinting through this barb flashing out here flashing out here they don't even look up here if you're a kr you're taking this you're brace swinging you're killing all five of them but it looks like they're going uh going towards the south side through that office so hopefully crisis averted doesn't look like they're playing anyone up there but I see some mind game wall bangs that server farm i think trying to see if they can get who's tommy there but uh he was not standing right there luckily for him yeah i think we're we're just gonna see them go green we see roach getting in that exact position you're talking about ready there i don't think they're gonna go that way i think they know that is a little bit dangerous we see ghetto and jet rotating there just got the mop i think he's gonna try and watch that i think he's just waiting to see what they're doing here See, Doc Candy watching that backside is going to be good as they got flanked by Jet last time. So making sure someone's watching their, their back is a pretty good idea. Like I said, Roach found his comfortable little corner up there. I love that spot. Maybe they could force them into a rotate off of that storage and then send them through the barb there. And then we got some problems. We see we got Ghetto, a lot of they Ghetto got, got some wall bangs through there. Managed to uh, get a lot of damage on Tetra. But Asbo taking out both Ghetto and Jet there. And Kud does confirm that kill on Great. Tetra. And Roach takes out Candy there. It is just 2v3, and Asbo's pretty hurt, and so is Sweet Sea. Roach is the only one that's really hurt on their team. Uh, oh, we got, oh, but Sweet Sea's picked up the mop. <laughs> is he, and he's he running out that, with or? it. He's always oh, making sure they oh, don't get the mop. Oh, he dropped it outside. That's actually, that's that's actually kind of, yeah, that's a good play, actually. Uh, <laughs> they got to do something here soon, though. They're kind of waiting to see a nade go out. That's going to go on the dock. It's not going to meet anyone, sadly. We see Tommy is going to, I think, rotate to try and help out. Uh, Ku there, we see the flash go out. I think trying to fake it a little bit. The Ku run back from the flash. He runs by Ku. Ku man's take out Sweet Sea. And Ku man's take out Asbo. Ku. Ku doing no, something like that. It got off to such a great start with that pick on the ghetto. And then after that, uh, after that initial pick from him, and then it just kind of went downhill. Mm -hmm. See, did Dr. Candy push that backside? I actually wasn't, I didn't see that. Ah. Uh, I actually don't know. Down? Yeah, <laughs> I just noticed that too. He's just all the way dead up in the north side of. of it's hard to notice that with Ghetto. That just yeah, banging shots to that door there, trying to get them down, and that did yeah. that definitely. Even though Ghetto didn't really kill anyone there, that did actually screw them over a lot <laughs> because Tetra yeah. was walking into that room very hurt, and I think a few of them were just really banged up there, and that helped them out there. So Ku and Tommy could be very dominant there and not 100%. have to worry as much. That was just a honestly just a good defense setup from, you know. From them there, I, I think they played that. Can't think of any other way that they would. They put a lot of pressure, you know, got that initial pick, let them push through, let them get comfortable in that office, and then just take those trades one by one as they come out with the uh, Roach on that flank. 
you kind of have the security in knowing, okay, there's going to be no one behind me here. We can take one guy and, and have kind of a out of position gun in exchange for, you know, a lot of information on where they're pushed throughout the map. And they just kind of held those angles, waited for them to come out, and that played really into their favor. So great hold. But we are back on Operation Vice Break. And if I remember correctly, this is what they've been saving it for. They got that saber, I'd imagine, for a, beach, a, a beach pit split, potentially. Push that saber through the base while your team takes pit. Uh, I think they're going jungle, actually. You see that? Oh, wow. Yeah. It's not a bad play, but that, that barb there is a little scary with those castle mm -hmm. windows there. Yeah, that, that push out of the jungle here, especially with that bar being claimed here, I, I believe they have another nade, so that might not be too much of a problem. No, but... they. I think they... No, they... Wait, hang on. If they Did they win the uh, the Seastore round on this attack? Because if not, then they don't have any nades, I'm pretty sure. Because they remember... We, well, unless Tetra didn't actually... They don't. Anything. No, they have zero nades. So that's <laughs> that going to be a problem will be... for them. Okay, that's I think they decided not to go that uh, that way. You see, I think they moved over back okay, to the yeah. pit and beach you're talking about. They, 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 they sensed the casters saying, this was a really bad idea, guys. Go somewhere else. But they're it, secretly in the booth. They got a wire. Oh, so they've actually set up... I believe they're probably going to send maybe like a 3-2 split, 3 pit, 2 beach, and then send the, the other door charge through into pit and then clock it from, from inside pit. So hopefully oh. catch anyone playing out here off guard from their initial push when they get through. If someone's playing here door charge you're dead go bye bye if, if that works out that way that's actually pretty smart see i think yeah. ghetto is getting that molly they, there yeah, they may push ghetto out and then he's back in that oh, spot where the is. ghetto tanned to kill sweet team which is that molly there okay that's gonna be a little bit hard for their push there yeah, not a great start <laughs> hopefully they can recover though yeah we see i think the bomb is out in that pit they're blowing it we see Scoop, I think, getting ready. Asbo trying to take shots with Ghetto. Taking lots of damage from Ghetto there. And Ghetto managed to take out Asbo. It is just Tetra Candy and uh, Texas here. And Tetra's trying to pick up that, <laughs> pick up that Saber again. Trying to kill As yeah, with another. Ghetto, but it is not working. Tetra takes a lot of damage from that. A little bit of punishment there. We see, I think, Flash go out. Oh, Lord, not they're not even happening. in the building yet. Yeah, those mollies are keeping them out, and that barb there is too scary. They really needed to lock down that beach so they could make it safe by blowing into that pit at the same time with the uh, from beach. But Dr. Candy is taking some damage there from Cooch, getting those shots. The smoke go out. It's going to be a better idea to get in there, but they're still really hurt. Ghetto is going to make sure that they don't get out of there too easy. See some shots go out again. All of them are really here. Ghetto managed to take out Dr. Candy there. Oh. Flash goes out. Many flashes. Ghetto is running completely blind. Oh, missed. I think it's it was a missed shot by Texas there with the shotgun, but I don't know that he got it. All right. Two minutes to get Texas. We need a golden clacker moment here, bud. Come on, he's even got a clacker. Can he oh, do huge. it, please? Tetra, you can do it. <laughs> Tetra, oh, Tetra There's one. Take out Tommy. Tetra is a sniffle away from death, but he can take, maybe take out Koo. Oh, he is. Really he dropped on 8 HP. He's dropped the saber. He's got no ammo. I think he's going to try and pick up oh, Dr. No. Candy's gun. Uh, he's got a flash though. Door charge is still there though. With two oh. people on that left side. Okay, then run. Shit just killed him. <laughs> uh, not the best take I've seen. I mean, they just they they got their breaches in. They just got throttled. I, I I don't know if it was. I don't know if I saw any kind of flashes or, or smokes go deep into beach, but they honestly just gave they, Ghetto free reign to just sit in that window and just hold left mouse for the entire round. I think they decided to take that fight. Three separate people decided to all to take the fight three separate times. And all of them got punished for it. Yeah, no, no one's one. that one. He does. <laughs> no one could understand that. Hey, I Tetra sort of got it after he killed, after Ghetto killed two people and then took some damage. It's like, yeah. maybe, we maybe we shouldn't shoot back at this right now. Well, the thing is, is in retrospect, they still had a clocker and a door charge after the initial pit breach. So they could have called an audible said, okay, guys, this isn't working. Rotate back around to the west side of the map. Go through that jungle door. It's not the best take, but, you know, when, when you're being throttled like that, anything you can do to kind of take pressure off of your team at, you know, any of those breaches, you got to take. And they just kind of fed them ones, and that was our undoing there for sure. But new half, new maps on bank, Operation Zeus Revolver. Um, lots of wide maps today. Love it. It's a very wide series. Um, looks like they're calling some green vents shenanigans here. Oh, God. Um, bringing the nade with them for that haul. Probably hard calling a barb there, but um, this is, honestly, in my experience, this is a bit of a tall ask 
for a, a full green take. I, I've seen it done, but you know, you, you got to be really on it with your pushes and really, really coordinated with how much map control you're taking when you're taking it and, you know, when you're pushing through angles because you can go through lobby, but you've got, you know, angles from teller can barb this. Uh, as If you don't have enough map control, it could probably hold someone here, but susceptible to flanks from your, your accounting hall side, pushing through lobby is, is pretty difficult. Um, and just getting map control in general is a bit tough. So I, I personally think this is more of a split map than a, than a full five, but I mean, we'll, we'll see if they got some tricks up their sleeve and are able to, you know, get their map control, get that button and, and get into vault. But this may be another one of those rounds that's just trade after trade. Maybe, you know, maybe just a full throttle here. I hope not. I hope they can get through, but this, this loans is, it's a little toughy. I'm just laughing because I see, I was just like, oh, what is everyone holding? I see Jet holding the mob, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> of course he is. Why it's, not? It's, Jet's going to do Jet's things. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to take a, he's gonna take a swing. Oh, I'm sure he'll use it. I'm sure he'll do yeah. some good with it, but it's like. You don't God. see him one second, then you see him, and then you're dead. Tons of shots going out. Yep, managing to get Texas there. Texas knows that mob's there now. You see Amali go right on the Tetra there. Yeah, they're stuck in that, uh, that hall there. Tommy was taking some shots earlier, trying to damage on the doctor and he takes some damage from ghetto there <laughs> see tommy getting oh, some geez. wall bangs i don't think the tommy wall bangs are connecting a few shots they're kind of stuck in there right now yeah they're moving. We see a flash go out problem, but see some okay, shots going through ghetto takes out dr candy it's just tetra there against ghetto there you see Awu sweetie and uh or sweetie God. <laughs> i don't want to say sweetie on stream <laughs> feels weird uh, uh. Taking some shots there. The maid go out to take Ghetto. It's going to be big for them to get them into Teller. I think Tetra's going to sacrifice his life there. Open that. Some wall bangs go out onto Ghetto there. Asbo, Tetra, Texas are super hurt. Uh, or Tetra managed to take out by Roach. Asbo takes out Jet there. Okay. See Asbo right. in that, or in the, the lobby there, trying to see what he can do. See Texas. I think they're a little too split up right here right now. Sweet T is sneaking into this bit when Asbo has that lobby there. It's a little... Yeah, it's a little weird there. This is going to be think... tough if they don't get Texas read through that accounting. I, I think he's going to be stuck unless they're able to somehow get through security. But I think oh, if security. he doesn't get through that door, I think he's I think he's going to be dead. I think this is a hard game. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think they're I think they're kind of stuck here. I don't. Yeah, they look lost. I, I think they're sure. they're probably thinking, all right, we got mop, we got some good trades. I don't know if we can get through that accounting room. We're just going to get out, and I think that's what they're doing now. Yeah, I think they're just saying, all right, pack it up, boys. And I, Yokuza's noticed this because they're going to try and go through Texas Red. It's going to see what he can do with security. Take oh, out he Roach. Kill, though. That's good. Okay. Take some shots on the Tommy. Yeah, no, I think they just went, okay, we got our shots. I think they just saw how low, little health they had and how like difficult it would be to go into security or accounting because they don't have a nade for accounting because they threw that in the lobby. And security is security and it also has a barb. It was not written in the cards there to get in those places. So oh, it's actually, they pulled out and said, all right, you know what? We can do it next time. They got mop. My, yeah, I mean, my, my instinct there is to say, oh, what a what a mix up there. I mean, that's incredibly unfortunate to get that far into the round and then back They out. went shopping that round for a mop. They did. They did. They got the mop and that, I didn't see how many bullets it had left. But depending on how much they have to work with, that could be, you know, going into these next two rounds a lot more important than winning just the one. They may get two instead of the one they would have won but we'll, we'll have to see we're on a kill house though so maybe not maybe maybe they went shopping for the wrong maps we'll, we'll have to see operation blood cell that's um, actually that's just like a, that's just like a good name <laughs> just blood cell yeah i like that i'm not a i'm not a scientist i mean that's is that what they call them are there are there blood cells yeah they're blood cells yeah that's you cool. never seen like oh god what is it like a Spider-Man movie or like the Hulk movie where all his blood cells turn green? Look, man, I didn't reason? do I didn't do well in science class. Okay, <laughs> um, this isn't my domain. <laughs> yeah, but Barb's going out onto the map. Definitely not where they're gonna want to bring that mop in. But maybe they could find some cheeky angle, maybe through the courtyard or something. Courtyard windows. Maybe we'll find a a, a good spot to maybe like post up a mop here can't tell there is a door there huh i'm, I'm just trying to you know get my mind around where they it. were yeah, yeah. So, and and maybe the mop wasn't wasn't the key thing maybe it was just a matter of okay let's just keep our flashes keep those for the next couple of rounds it's a done deal on this one let's just back out and, and take our licks and move on but 
They're gonna yeah, double charge this round, so it should be pretty in their mm. favor. Yeah. Hopefully we can see them see them pull some shenanigans on this one and, and, and take a round back, because I mean aside from those first two, it's been heavy in Yakuza's favor. I mean they they took those those first two losses and said, Okay, we're gonna start winning now. And it, they must have heard that we were saying like, oh wow, Muchacha's kinda doing pretty good. And they're like, Yeah, no. we 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 were uh, <laughs> gonna reverse that. We, we weren't giving Yakuza their due time and they heard that. They they sensed it and they're like, Alright, we're gonna we're, we're gonna show you what we can do. These these guys aren't anything. You guys are nothing to us. Moving out. Yeah, we're gonna see a three, two I think it's three are they not double charging then? No, I think they're gonna do uh all they are going reception so not, yeah. go out. Tommy's getting in position there. I think they're getting on those windows. Yeah, I think, mm -hmm. they can, I think Ku's getting ready for a wall bang on that window. I could be wrong. See Dr. Candy and Asma moving down that hall. See Reception going in free. Ku man's taking off Dr. Candy. Ku is taken off by That's Asma. A it's a little rough for them. I think Asma takes a lot of damage there and is actually even more damage from I think Ghetto taking some shots there. <laughs> see Texas Red trying to get in. Ghetto managed to take out Sweet Tea there. So their whole hall side is pretty roughed oh, up. Ghetto no. managed to take out Tetra. It's just Asbo and Te or, and Texas at this time. Texas is trying to move in, see what he can do. This is good to, to though. Asbo managed to take out my ghetto. Oh, it's One just before. Texas Red. He's got that nade. Let's see what he can do. Yep, I think he's, he's trying to get rid of the nade. Yep. Drops it on Jet. Oh, it's Jet. Jet. Okay. I thought it went through the door, but I think it. He. I think he. No, kept it Jet. In. <laughs> Jet just ran through the green after he threw right. it. It was just yeah. good timing. I was about Doesn't to say, Texas had a hard look and he's dead, but Ghetto takes so that funny. stare and takes him gone. Well, it's a little consolation, right? Got a funny nade kill at the end there, but... All worth it. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good funny moment, but not uh, not a good place to be in score-wise. 6-2 in Yakuza's favor. Um, those muchachos, they've uh, kind of kind of fallen out of grace this game. They started mm -hmm. super strong, you know, it's just, it feels like they can't, uh, you know, on attack, they can't get the map control and on defense they just can't keep it you know yakuza just kind of asserting their dominance here and just you know taking every round handily um i mean that last round it, would, it looked like they were trying to take some pressure off of their hull through the reception take but you know once they were what is that called sick the in reception on kill house there's a little like the the window there the booth? faces through the booth yeah they were they were sitting in the booth and they just got trades. That's all they had to do. Yeah, just wait for someone, yeah, just get just ran in steps and swing. Yeah. Got him there. And they needed to get in a little bit earlier there if they wanted to help out with coup. They should have uh maybe a little bit uh coordinated that a little yeah. better. Yeah. Because they would have had uh Asla wouldn't have gotten hurt. And I think it was I can't remember which one that died there. Was it I think it was Tet no. No, it was Candy that died to coup there. Yep. Yep. No, that was the first trade in hull there. Uh, mm -hmm. and they just they just couldn't follow up on it. Exit Archer. I've seen this one before. I've seen this one a couple times actually. This this one is is pretty fun for defense because you got these these storefront shelves. These ones are like I think they're around like half play right. This one back here is actually I believe a uh, full player full player height. That back shelf. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of flexibility to play in fridges through bathroom into freezer for rotates, fridges into storage for rotates. For just a teller and you pretty much don't have to worry about if they do breach a storefront which it looks like they are here on the los muchachos side storefront and that kind of north side gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to go okay we're going to set up for x or y on the right side of the map they end up breaching storefront let's just rotate back and we're safe pretty much this whole way through until they start taking fights through the storefront so looks like we're getting a pause we're getting a pause though. We're having some um, issues here. I'm okay, unsure if someone crashed. Yeah, Ghetto said crash, so someone crashed, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. But we got the pause in the nick of time. We got it. It's two <laughs> seconds left. I almost whiffed it, but we got it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a moment to uh Jet! let them sort that. <laughs> Jet crashed. <laughs> no, why is there Jet Slander? Def not enabling G. Oh, that's so funny. Well, look at the chat needs response. Yeah, I don't believe it's, chat is visible on stream it side. It is but not. No, there's a very good reason some, why that isn't. Yeah. Yes, we got some funny banter going on. Uh, rest assured for for the viewers at home. This uh, this <laughs> five minute pause or however how many pause is sponsored by Jet's computer falling yes. apart. <laughs> yes, as it usually does. Well, we got a we got a brief moment here to kind of relax. Hopefully, this gives 
those muchachos a chance to kind of regroup and talk about this round and you know so they're gonna do a pull, double pull charge together. here mm -hmm. i think they're just gonna nice go big or go home here it's on the ninth it's round a super long storefront the fact they have both saber and mop is going to be really in their advantage of that storefront so it mm -hmm. makes sense they're going to try and just get into that arcade and just get that button we'll see if there's so probably gonna have someone sitting freezers to turn off that power which i think is why no they're not having another person go through green but we do see a chart or a barb on green so i'm assuming someone's gonna sit there close enough that if they turn off power uh they can probably do that quick enough so that they don't get teller and get that storefront open so it'll be a little mm -hmm. bit rough for them when that happens well, it looks like we've got some some fancy replays going on some some new dpl technology right here <laughs> in in action i'd love to see that i actually love that that's like my favorite new thing is like the the replay system. I love going back and it's like, yeah, <laughs> something cool just happened. You get to watch it again. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. The love replay buffer that. in OBS is really nice. I use that for clips. <laughs> That's smart. I like that. I, uh, I I upgraded to uh, I, I used to be a uh, Nvidia clipping guy, but now I'm a now I'm a metal clipping guy. I'm one of, I'm one of them now. What is metal? It's like. I don't know how to describe a metal is actually. <laughs> it's it's like it's it's clipping software, but it's also like you post your clips and it's like social media and you like follow people that make clips. Oh, that's disgusting. And you can like I mean it's kind of cool. Like you can there's like a main page and you can see due process clips from like whoever makes them and it's like a live feed of clips. It's, I mean it's pretty cool. But All right, there's there's some <laughs> The the troops are getting restless in the map view. There's some there's some drawings going they're, on. Right they're now. showing off their artistic talents. Yeah. Maybe you know, they might not win every round. But I don't even know if I want to like humor this. <laughs> I, I feel like I just let this exist. I don't know if I comment on this. I mean that guy I, I think that's a thumb. That's not a so there's there's a there's a thumb there or a middle finger. I can't tell which one it was. But then we have this. This is what I was referring to right here. I can't tell who drew it, unfortunately, but <laughs> we've got some. All right, we've got some some Amogus, and it looks like we are unpausing here. Looks like they're ready. All right. Yeah, fourteen seconds. I was distracted by, but among us. Sorry, guys. Oh, apparently, I was a little late on the on the unpause call. <laughs> We're gonna be here for an hour. I'm still guys. waiting for the uh, the unpause clear. Uh, <laughs> day three. <laughs> Just like... Oh man. All right. Los muchachos. One Bring it back here, guys. <laughs> All right. We see the arcade floor. We see Tommy getting right on that molly. I don't think the molly really connects to anyone, but it's gonna hold them back there, keep them in there. We see the immediate. We see that uh, lights go out. So their plan of trying to open up that storefront there is not gonna be very good. I think they're gonna try and go with it anyways. Be able to take that teller's good anyways. I think we see the charge down. Yep, I think charge is down. You blow it, and they're going into tellers there. We see Roche, Ghetto, and Jet already on that other door. They are locked in there at this point. We see Tommy ready, trying to get some shots that uh, that hold there. Managed to get a little bit of damage on the toucher, but not too much. We see Texas red, and I think Dark Canyon try and flank through that storage is going to be a good idea. Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to have to. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're just out. They can good go damage there on Tetra. Room. Yeah, there's not much we can do. Or they can do there. We see, yeah, Jet's going to be ready on that. Uh, what are you, that auto shotty there? And we see a smoke and storage. All right, we see them gonna try and like go through the storage there. I think Aswell's watching that. If they can open that door at the same time that they open the other door, that'd be really good. They can pinch Jet there and they can really get in. Ghetto getting some damage there, take there, get some damage on the Texas there. Did Jet just run in, take out Texas Red, Dark Candy gets oh, the quick right, trade though. Okay. Minimal so, damage. See this that is still very there. winnable. Yeah, that was actually not doing too bad. It's, it's a little rough for them, but I think they can do it. One Indeed. flash and one smoke left, which is going to be the problem. They're both going to have to be perfect. Petra crossfire, perfect, perfect crossfire from Chris, or not Chris, Roach and uh, Ku there. I, I like mixed their names together there for some reason. Those are ship names. Chris, apparently. We see Doc Candy getting oh, taken no. out by Keto and Ku there. Ku and oh, tons of crossfire. Oh, good Sweet pick. There. Really hurt. Get him and just come around and just take out Asbo. It is just Sweet Tea. The Ghetto trying to go oh, in no. and confirm it, and Ghetto takes it, and the game or the match, which one of them? The whatever the small one. First one goes to Yaku's. <laughs> Look, yes, that. Exactly that. Very well put. I've had so many people say game and match. I don't know. I think the match is the, the overarching thing. And I say, well, because I say the game is the language here. But some people say that's the match. So I think I think the match. No, okay. Well, I, I here's my argument, okay? I think the series is the total. 
Oh, the, you could use game or the match. I forgot the about the word series. That makes sense more. God, I'm so smart. <sighs> yeah, well, a pretty, honestly, swift victory from Yakuza there on that 7-2. Um, early on, I mean, we saw a lot of promise come out from most muchachos very early. I mean, those first two rounds, it was like, you know, going from a, yeah, Yakuza is probably going to take this to a, oh, hold on, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And then back to, a, okay, Yakuza is going to take this. Little hesitation, uh, and then right back on track. A glimmer uh. of hope, but you know we've. I mean, this is this is fairly consistent with how Los Muchachos have been throughout. You know this this season so far is they came in kind of the underdogs. They played their first match against GB, getting that. I mean, five to fourteen scoreline, which you know as I mentioned earlier, I mean on its own doesn't sound like a whole lot, but versus GB, you know that's that's quite the achievement. And then going straight to Gnomes, getting. It was seven to fourteen, and they still lost both both series. But you know, show that they can actually get rounds pretty consistently against. Yeah, they've got some a good of, like know, surprise there for a few rounds yeah. here and there. Um, but unfortunately, in this one, they weren't able to get a whole lot. Um, Yakuza kind of showing them how they play the game. Um, so going into this next one, I mean, they're they're gonna have to just take that for what it's worth. We got the two rounds. You know, we know that we can. We can get those rounds. It's just a matter of replicating that, keeping Yakuza on the back foot, and you know not letting them. I mean, I was just a there's just a kill fest pretty much for the set of Yakuza. Just getting so many trades, you know, and just felt like those muchachos weren't able to stay comfortable for any you know long period of time. You know, they as soon as they get something good, someone on Yakuza comes through and says, nope, I'm going to flank you with a shotgun, or I'm going to crossfire you from three different angles on the map, and your round's over. Those and, crossfires and that yeah. last half simply were just mm. wow, no, They played beautiful. that incredibly well from Yuguza. <laughs> just stop any push they have coming. Um, and, and hopefully, those muchachos, you know, game game loss, but series not over, so mm. we can, can take that. Got a couple rounds, and you know, come back at them, game two. So I don't know if we have any any last comments, sick, but I think we can go to a quick break, give the teams a, a couple minutes, and then come yeah, back at you yeah. guys for a second here. I think that's about it. Awesome. All right, we'll go on a quick break, and we'll see y'all in a minute. Be back. Jazz has to restart his game. <laughs> All right, we we are back. Uh, I don't know if we're queuing yet. I guess we'll find out in a couple seconds if both teams are ready, but uh, <laughs> game two. <laughs> we for... told a lot of no one we're ready. Yeah. We should get a mess from Tetra that says, we queuing. <laughs> they are. They are technically. No, it looks like both teams are ready. We're back for uh, game two of Yakuza versus Los Muchachos. 7-2 uh, dub for Yakuza there in that first game. Um, quick refresher. Uh, for those who maybe missed the first game or, or want a, a little bit of a reminder, Los Muchachos did good for two rounds, and then Yakuza was Yakuza for the rest. And here we are. So uh, it's going to be up to Los Muchachos to, you know, go back to their form. And obviously, you know, we have to keep in mind that they are playing with a last-minute sub uh, in the in the form of, again, favorite community member, Uwu Sweet Tea, uh, who actually, honestly, if we look back, didn't really do all too bad. Yeah, Definitely, you know, held his own that, that game. But uh, it's not just going to be up to individual. It's going to have to be, you know, them figuring out how to, how to, you know, polish up their executes, make sure they can, you know, get and hold off map control and, you know, hopefully give us a, a reversal of the Yakuza and, you know, tie it up in the series. But uh, after that showing, it looked like Yakuza, it looks like they might have the momentum here. What do you think? Think they got the you think they got the the metal to come back and and stuff it to yakuza or is this a done deal <laughs> um i mean after they got thrashed for what was it for like <laughs> six or seven was, how many rounds is it it was seven two so i got seven yep. rounds basically yeah they got the after first two and then it was <laughs> yeah, it was downhill i don't know well, if really the mental <laughs> is the, the uh, mental may be a bit what is the, what is the what is the term like mental wavering <laughs> it could be that or it could just be tanking i think <laughs> might be more accurate but i, I don't want to assume I, I don't know if they're they're the team that that kind of gets oh that's it mental booming 
but it's probably one of my favorite terms in in esports is, is getting on is mental boom there right. is like a secret thing where there is because i've obviously I've, i was on rats for a while and we had times where we got absolutely mm -hmm. thrashed and there's there's a certain gear that you shift into that right. really can like make it better you get into the is, zone is not even you that but instead of just okay guys let's just have fun and then somehow yeah. you start doing better that was my experience for some reason of course <laughs> yeah you just start yeah. playing off each other weirdly when you're not so like stressed out like oh we got to do this it's like all right you know this is just a fun game let's just you know let's have fun yeah. let's try and see and what that's we can how it should and be that... be playing to win but having fun mm -hmm. all right looks like we are in the server now starting off we got uh, Yakuza on defense, and they had some pretty strong holds in that first game. So this this may just end up being a continuation of that first game. I don't know if they're going to lose a whole lot of momentum, but Juno Saga, that's it's kind of a cool name. We had we had what Blood Cell, and now Juno Saga. It's a trilogy and of that one move. Gek is Sarah. yeah, Gek is on a Gek is on a roll with the with the team names here. It is that uh, this is the fun map. I actually really like this map, especially on attack. And you kind of see. I was going to point this out, but they're already drawing it. If you look at the 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 open shed here, as attackers, if you want to make your round a lot easier, make your life a lot easier. And they've even they've, they've even like written it out for me. Even if I didn't know this, I'd, I'd be able to comment on it. But you can shotgun open this door right here. This opens a wide angle through into office, and you can hold that with either. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You can either hold that with a saber or a black tar, and you kind of have already, you know, before you're even in the map, you have a lot of extension. Um, and that'll be really helpful for their push going forward. But on the same time, on defense, you got a lot of barb spots. And this is, you know, being a very, very closed kill house, you need an aid, you need. You know, very, very good flash you should and we've we've seen that Yakuza is very good at playing off of their, you know, defense utility. And so this may end up being a kill fest if they're not able to execute that properly on the loose muchachos side. So mm -hmm. this is a toss up. I think they're um Jet's kinda having a time over there. It was interesting. Jet is emptying a mag into the wall. He's decided <laughs> to pick up interior decorating and he's found a new tool to do it, apparently. I've seen a lot of teams do that. Am I just out of the loop? Is that like a super meta thing to do and I just don't know what it does? I, I could, I, you know, I'm with you there. I honestly don't know. Maybe it's just to make sure they don't get, uh, instead of hiding the second mags, they can't get it. Maybe just empty it or something. Uh -huh. I think Who they knows? shotgun open that lockers there. Yeah, yep. Sweet T's there with the black tar. Yeah, that 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 push, that push makes that green so much easier. See, get a mm -hmm. the lady in waiting there, ready to go. Almost gets traded by Coop though. Actually, That's yeah. a lot of early damage. <laughs> So Ghetto takes out Dr. Candy there. We see Tetra taking some big damage. Ghetto getting those fire down there. We see Sweet Tea really hurt there as well. Tommy takes out Sweet Tea all the way from office there. Oh, Damn, no. We see Ghetto take out Texas. Asbo takes out Tommy. Just running around there. And then, oh, Jetman take out Asbo. It is just Tetra there trying to find his way. Blocker moment. Redemption. You see, throws a flash out there. Ku is running in. Is that nade? I think that was a nade, yeah. Yeah. Yep, nade takes out <laughs> both Ku and Jet after death, but Ku does take out Tetra there. Okay, so they don't get the nade, but that didn't really go particularly smoothly on the attacking side there. They just couldn't take out Ghetto there, and then they no. got locked in those lockers, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, I mean, that just... It just they, they got outside, they're at the door, they just couldn't get any further. Just way too many bullets coming at them. Not enough utility thrown in, I don't think. Um... I, I just don't think they win the ones there, you know, with, with that many crossfires to worry about. Um, and they just got picked off one by one. Mm -hmm. So quick, decisive round from Yakuza, bringing them one up. 1-0 going into Burning Laser. Burning Laser Bank. This is <laughs> this is a fun one. I like to point out, this looks like a, a funky little frog man right here in lobby. Looks like <laughs> a frog. I thought it was like, like a cat, him. but that works too. <laughs> Yeah, no, that works too. <laughs> Cute animal of your choice, I suppose you could put there. But that's what casting due process is like. All right, you know, get into yeah, the match. Just... Oh, look at this little frog here. This, this is what happens when Doodler doesn't have anything insightful to say about the round, and he talks about anthrop anthrop. What is that word? Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. There you go. That's a fun word. Listen, Anthropomorphic you know math elements it. that look like animals. So, no, but we got looks like a charge strat. Double charge through into that security for the button through uh, Hall of Red Door. So that could be interesting. I can't tell if Yakuza is really going to be 
set up early for that. They could play someone back hole. Um, that is potentially a... have. Oh, <laughs> There's, I, I just gotta say this. That's a lot of charges to use for just getting mm -hmm. button. Like, <laughs> I agree, but I think they are also kind of on the back foot here, and they kind of need to give themselves as a team as much as they can. And I think this is kind of a all or nothing type deal where we're gonna try to get button as fast as we can. We're just gonna hold that security, um, give us, you know, a little bit of assurance that we can call basically using that as an observation, just calling the entire lobby there, and that will hopefully make their job easier after getting button to get mm -hmm. on. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm just honestly they're... surprised like they wouldn't go both hall and entrance there because then that would make them able to get into that security a lot easier and then they can move. They don't have to worry about that lobby because that lobby is going to what's going to be screwing them over there because they have to go through security or manager. But actually, <laughs> like they could know... go through manager. I'd like to know <laughs> that they drew my profile picture with a crown on and called me King Noodler in the map. That's pretty. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, we got it. We got to take them out. They're bribing the casters now. Yeah, exactly. Um... They're, they're trying to get caster favoritism. <laughs> I'm impartial. I'm an impartial third party, guys. Come on. Oh, That's in the why map. you're rooting for them. You're the mole! Wall charge coming uh, up. They said the wall charge go out. That with the button in. Ghetto's there. Gets that molly out. Ghetto, a lot of damage Might by Tetra there. Three of them. Takes out Tetra. Asbo and Tex is running in. Takes out Asbo. Tex is trying to see what he can do there. Actually, oh, no. from Ghetto. So, okay. Huge <laughs> picks though early from Ghetto. And the, oh, again, they have Sweet Tea up that accounting there. So that actually might not yeah. be bad. But still, they're on the back foot now. You know. Just around yeah. half health on Sweet Tea. That's two full health players, but you know, two flashes on the team economy, and a lot of them, a lot of ground to cover. Tommy takes out Sweet Tea there. So now it is just that security. <laughs> uh, we see Jet trying to take him shots on Doctor Candy. I think misses. We see Ooh. Texas take out or Roach there. It's just Jet trying to see what he can do with that mob. Doctor Candy's gonna try and run around, take out Jet. Takes out Jet. Tommy's gonna try and flank around a little bit, see if he can draw some fire. Uh, oh, they're turning it around. Mostly playing some mind games there, Tommy. Like just trying to make sure that he doesn't feel safe. He walks through there. They need to just not worry about Tommy and just move on to. Uh, they, oh no, they they press the button. Never mind. Okay, they actually have to kill Tommy. Uh, well, they this better do it fast. Such a weird interaction. They don't have much time to play with, and I think they're focusing too much. I think Candy might have to make a an individual play here because Tommy is just out of position. They just have to let him be there, and they can get in the vault. But I don't think they have time. Yeah, they're kind of... They just got to get to Vault. I think they're having just... a staring contest here a little bit. Tommy oh, takes no. out Dr. Candy. Tex takes out Dr. Or er, not Dr. Candy. Takes out Tommy. We see the That's door over. open, but he has no time to get oh, to the Q there. Even... Oh. Yeah, round goes to... Uh... Yeah, yeah. I, I was hoping they'd be able to just post up one by the Vault and just try to get that entry, but they just spent way too much time... They had a surprisingly yeah, strong push into there. Into there. A long time. And yeah, then... No, but... The push was around. very good, but they just didn't capitalize in, you know, the pivotal moments of that round. And that goes to Yakuza. God, the security. Security is yeah. just so... I hate security so much. It's just, it's just like, it's not good to attack at all that. If you can well, try and avoid it, yeah. you can. I, th I think in that instance, it's just more of they lost too many players and they couldn't hold the security. And that's kind of mm -hmm. what I was mentioning before, is they're able to use that security on the attack side to use as their kind of kind of their own obs to hold off rotates from that south side of the map and also just keep a player there so they don't have to worry about button being pressed again like it was. Um, and they just didn't have enough players left to dedicate, you know, to security as a room. They had to go to the vault and, you know, they ended up just going behind click and, you know, they got to retake it now. So mm -hmm. that was unfortunate. Lost too many players, but, you know. Overall, I don't want to take away from Yakuza's holds. They're doing a great job. Ghetto getting a lot of picks and really important choke holds on the map. And honestly, I think those picks are getting them a majority of their rounds here. Not not just from Ghetto, but just from Yakuza as a whole, getting those early picks in those those choke point areas of the maps. Yeah, they've been That's really good at like them. chewing them up at the start. So at the time when they're not really sure where they're going, they're running low on uh, util. They're also running low on health at the same time. So it makes it easier mm -hmm. just for those their last because they've got a, a few confident shooters there. If they or those last ones are usually the ones that are left can just really go in and not really have to care too much, which ends up mm -hmm. breeding really well for them. Yeah, Yakuza definitely have a lot of comfortable fraggers is what I've mm -hmm. noticed, and and they can really depend on those those players to get consistent kills every single round make everybody else's lives, you know, a lot easier. Mm -hmm. uh, but we got Kill Dome. Kill Dome USA. Love it. Dark Athena. 
seen this tile a few times before this this specific map i mean mm -hmm. um with the kind of the tall setup obs bomb uh it's an interesting map looks like they're mostly planning for looks like a jungle beach split um probably gonna send that saber on the hands of asbo through in the beach hold those long angles for them as they take out jungle um flash out um, nade for the barb so it looks like they got a good attacking setup just gotta like, execute it properly here and that's gonna be it's gonna be the main thing if they're able mm -hmm. to take their losses bounce back and just fall on what they know it's full on executing those plans and getting a first round in this game for los muchachos that molly go out there i think they're starting to get wise to ghetto noticing molly a pattern get them every time <laughs> ghetto's got ghetto's one more it. too and it goes out you can tell the fact that ghetto is trying he's gonna hold this with a knack here i kind of want to see what he does here i'm generally curious if he can hold beach with a knack that's a bold move ghetto is just living in their heads run free this entire series i, I will point gonna... that out it's... it does get smoked though they're sleeping out a little bit this point the bomb go out on jungle they're getting into beach oh. there <laughs> oh jet managed to immediately take out tetra that was that was cold Jeez. that was a quick decisive shot and that that take is pretty much over but asbo with a refrag on a jet and that's the mop down mm -hmm. see oh ghetto runs behind and takes ghetto. out texas taking some shots from ct and coop managed to take out dr candy there and texas red is gone as well so Come on, get another with that knack. Come on, man. Come on, he can do it. He does. <laughs> he does. Crossfire there from Ku and Ghetto wow. there onto Sweet Tea. Damn. Wow. 3 0 Yakuza. I, I think that prediction was right. I think this is just kind of a, a, a game 1.5, and they're just kind of carrying that momentum from the first game. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like they just didn't stop playing. I mean, they're, they're just continuing to show so much dominance early on in these rounds. I think on, on every dome that we've seen, Yakuza defense, I think we've seen a uh, a, a beach Molotov like early on in the round. And every time they've gotten throttled by it. Uh, and it, it just starts them off on the wrong foot. And, you know, Ghetto playing up there with that knack. That was a wild card going in. But, you know, it's they're just not able to do much, it feels like. It feels like they're just getting stuck. Yakuza shows presence somewhere, gets one pick, gets a lot of damage, and it just feels like the round's over from that point. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't think there's been a round where Los Muchachos have gotten off on the wrong foot and then brought it back. It feels like I, as soon as they get that initial setback, they just kind of can't crawl back up, it feels. This might be a very specific thing, but I'm not even sure they've gotten to see the bomb yet. I think... Aside from those first few early rounds, I think you might actually be right. I, uh, they don't get enough map control to get to those late round engagements. I don't think they really even get to bomb. I think you're right. No, it's their entrances are just getting ruined immediately. That's... <laughs> that feels mean to point out, but like... But I mean, it's it, it could be important, even especially get if they... Defusing. Yeah, I mean, especially if they go back to, you know, review this stuff, which I, I mean, I think every team should go back and, and look at their streamed games and look at from you know with the input of casters and you know the overall the the top down map views see what is going wrong what's going right what they can change and i think you know as as harsh as some feedback might be it, it's definitely something that teams should you know strive to get when they're when they're playing these games if things aren't going particularly well being able to look back and, and see oh this didn't work that mm -hmm. didn't work this worked well though but we just didn't do x or y so i think that is important for teams to know um we're back on the funky map juno saga um looks like they they marked a barbed wire here on the green door from yakuza's side Mark, marked a uh, los muchachos barbed wire here which is kind of strange and I'm, I'm interested if this is gonna end up just being a full reversal of, of what los muchachos's plan was i think was. they're literally gonna do what los muchachos did but i think they're just gonna like, can they do it better I think they might. I mean, because they don't Probably. have to worry about what would be ghetto in that checkpoint there, because no one's sitting mm. up there. They're just shooting through that door. No shots oh, well, really they... hitting, but it's... Oh, Ow. we see Jet get in and get Dr. Candy there, and they're all in lockers. They're completely getting through there. We see Jet taking a little bit of damage. She's kind oh, of wow. some damage. Texas got a little hurt there. Well, see, this is there. the key difference between these two holes, as you can see this already. 
by this point, I don't think Los Muchachos in the same round were even in the building yet. But yeah. Yakuza already through half of the map, and they're ready to take their, you know, late round fights already with so many flashes, so much utility. See that flash I, I don't know how you're going to hold this. Those flashes. Now they're pushing in those flashes. Takes out Asbo. It's, it's just a trying to come in and gets out Tommy, but is taken by Roach. I think that was a, a good indicator of, of what's been happening. Just kind of looking at the difference between those two rounds from both sides. Exact same plan, pretty much same setup, but just Yakuza. Just getting through the map so much faster. And, and by the time they're there, they have so much flash, so much smoke left. You know, so, many, so much health just as a team that, you know, as long as they're up into that kitchen position in courtyard, this is unwinnable. And we just didn't see Muchachos get to that point. Mm -hmm. um, so Yakuza, just continue the momentum. And it doesn't look like there's any sign of them holding up this series. I, I think if this is how it's, you know, if this is how it progresses for the next few next few rounds, I think we're going to see full sweep from Yakuza unless, again, Los Muchachos just find some way to keep them out of the map. And it, it just seems like they, you know, Yakuza is just showing so much pressure that they just can't figure it out um and and that's just kind of been their downfall the whole series is yakuza just taking so much mm -hmm. or back and doing it they're taking so much without losing so little through that stuff because they've been yeah, very exactly. good at using the I mean, utility there killing it and just yeah yeah every time we've seen los muchachos in a late game scenario they've i mean just thinking on this map they had two players left and two flashes left as opposed mm -hmm. to you know on that one yakuza had what, they three threw flashes three in that last room, left. yeah. Yeah. And they, just, they just aren't setting themselves up for the late game where they can comfortably flash out, you know, X important angle, Y important angle, and be able to get into the bomb room comfortably. And mm -hmm. that just ends up, they, they can't do anything. And they've they've had to save a couple times for that exact reason. We've seen, actually, now that I think about it, probably I think we've seen maybe three or four attacker saves from uh, Los Muchachos this game, or this series total. So a lot of instances where they have no choice but to just back out and, and save what economy they have. Um, we're back on Burning Laser. This was an interesting dome. Or not a dome, a bank. Burn. <laughs> it's a very um, interesting dome. <laughs> very interesting dome. <laughs> the but, fact that it looks exactly like a bank. Yeah. Like, you know, really it's really strange. cool play on it. I, I think the I think the, the trades here are just giving me whiplash. I don't know how to, how to speak anymore. But it uh, looks like a, a pretty standard setup. Uh, Yakuza going for the opting for the entrance breach, uh, and it looks like they on the loose Machachos defense side will probably be playing some early mollies under that. But I'm gonna call it right now, I wouldn't put it beside Yakuza to just go through that molly. I think they're I just mean, gonna hold W and just go straight through. I mean, that's that's I the think pace they've most set this of their whole people series are like known for just running through. Oh, yeah. So, no, I, I think that's exactly what they're gonna do. It scares uh, Los yeah. here. the uh, the Lagros playing. So close? I, I, can't, I can't recall if this is, you know, if, if the Lagros is something you could play at this kind of close medium range effectively, if he's just playing to die and get early damage, or what the plan here is. Um, he does have a barbed wire in hand, and maybe we'll see a focal barb come out. Ironically. But... Yeah, see, Ku just running in. He's got an Ingmar. He's going to take out Pichu there. Takes him out. Yep. Ku took a lot of damage for that, but he got in there, and now they're not as safe in there. Er, oh, Ku does mm -hmm. actually get taken out by Texas Red there. We see Tetra trying to run around. Takes oh, out Tetra. Jester. That was actually a pretty good shot. Ghetto takes out Tetra there in response. We see Texas Red locked in there. Roach is going to try and go into accounting himself there. Texas Red taking some damage to those I think those little that teller hole there. And we see Dr. Candy take out Roach. That is that is a hard one to be in there with just two people ready. Dr. Candy is going to try and flank around to them, trying to see if they can squeeze Ghetto and Tommy there. Ghetto is ready, though. Takes out Dr. Candy. Asbo is right up next. He was trying to be a little sneakier than uh, he was, but Ghetto does take out Asbo as well. It is now just Texas Red sitting in here with a shotgun. Honestly, Texas Red can still do this. The way that this exact like security is. Okay, never mind. Oh, no. um... <laughs> well, it was possible until that flash came out. And then he gets forced back into this corner. And then he's got two Argus attackers to deal with from both sides. And that's just kind of, I mean, ghetto. Ghetto with a 4K. Yo, Kuzis. Coop getting in early, getting that Turning me into a pessimist here. <laughs> it's going it's to be at the point where it's like, oh, yeah, we see uh, we see Los Muchachos. Uh, one of them didn't pick up pistol. Uh, that's going to be a round loss for... Jeez. It's like, Jesus, like so many little things. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just Yakuza just, you know, time and time again, each round. 
It's, this is our map. We're going to abuse it. You're going to get flashed. You're going to get barrel stuff with a shotgun. And you're going to get blah, blah, blah. And you're going to lose the round. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one step closer to a 7-0 sweep here from Yakuza. No signs of stopping, like I mentioned before. It's just kind of an onslaught, you know. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks like there's not much that those muchachos can really grab onto to, to take this back in any kind of long-term way. It, I, you really haven't seen any kind of opposition from them at all. Mm -hmm. But back on this, this time, this time we are on Dome. For real this time. Mm -hmm. Dark Athena. They lost a um, lot of mop here. Mm -hmm. The so saber kind of really be bad because they had saber. Did they wait? No, yeah. they didn't pick up saber and mop. They just picked up saber. I get by mm, that mop didn't so. have as many ammo. Yeah. Yep. No, but still having a saber here is very. Oh yes, I love this. I absolutely <laughs> love what Yakuza is planning here. Oh, I, have, I just I've yeah. Seen this done a few times. They're going opting for. It looks like they Tetra. It looks like Tetra is kind of hard calling that though. Looks like that that might ex be exactly what Yakuza is going to do, which is extend through beach, get lights, and then send a wall charge up into OBS, and then you have the bomb room. But it looks like Los Muchachos have kind of called that already. Um, so yeah, hopefully, fine. they'll they'll have that presence of mind to to have players ready for that because I think this is going to be a quick take with that saber support up here. I think they're just going to full full W, and that plan is going to be in motion there. So we'll have to see if you if uh, Los Muchachos can hold that off because this is. This is a wild card play, and I've seen this work, and I've seen this not work. I think Yakuza can make it work. I think I mean, this is I think this I, is a winning plan. I feel like Yakuza's not going to be afraid at all going beach, because they, they have no fear of mop. They only have one KRM. Mm. They've got, at least, I mean, they don't know this specifically, they might, but uh, we see defenders with uh, only a KRM and an Igmar, a, a knack and a shotgun, and a Gruber, which aren't going to be the ones, I mean, the Igmar and the KRM is probably the only ones that can really scare people on beach with those long range and just constant fire but right. it's, i don't think it's going to be enough to keep them out of just getting that obs no, as fast as i don't they can. think so either we got that wall charge on ghetto making their way out and here we go dark athena let's see if those muchachos have have it in them to to hold this off or if this is going to be a 6-0 for yakuza mm -hmm. we're gonna see a 3-2 split here we see, yeah, no Molly on the. <laughs> oh, no, there's a Molly. They did they're, Molly. They're, they're absorbing some some <laughs> some early round knowledge from Ghetto they're there, learning. throwing that that beach Molly. That's funny. To beat your enemy, you must become the enemy. Ghetto answers with his own Molotov. He did, throws that know. all the way up to the windows there. That's some interesting chess probably. match happening here. See, Sweetie, I think Sweetie's gonna try and rat in there and try and get it done. I think Asmo's doing the same, but on the uh, the power button there. So they're not having literally. There's no opposition to that base or that beach right now. There's no one sitting in or there's Dr. Candy in jungle to try and watch that. And Dr. Candy is taking shots from Saber up there. Pretty hurt. We see Tommy and Roach go in. Molly goes out, but it's not fast enough oh, to get them. Already in. Roach is taking out Dr. Candy. Tommy's taking out Asbo. And Sweetie gets the, the secret little shot there on Koo there. We we can see the uh the the lights go out. I think Ghetto kinda knows where Sweetie is. Yep. Found him. Sweet has gone. And I think they're gonna get ready for that wall breach there. They should at least. I think Tetra's gonna try and come around. Ghetto's trying to see if he can get some wall bangs on it just in case. Uh, Jet yeah, is waiting is on that beach. Still beach though. They haven't grabbed that yet. Looks like oh, they got I it haven't. now, but they're a little bit late on that obs execute. I yeah, don't we know see if it's Jet though. Before yeah, they've kind of yeah. Tetra goes down. It's a five v or a four v one actually. Here right. it comes. Reaching the wall off. charge. Flash goes out. We see Tetra try and run out and rotate, but Tommy oh, is ready Texas to catch red. him there. He's got his arms open. Just come here. Oh and take man. Him. What can you do, Texas Red? 1v4, you hear that Running breach go off, off and shotgun and... right in the top of it. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. It's rough. <laughs> good day for Yakuza. Not a, not so good of a day for most muchachos here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of ways to be sad about this. <laughs> it is. This, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's breaking it, me it a really little bit. <laughs> It's just kind of the same, the same problems that are that are plaguing these holds and these takes for this side of Los Muchachos, and I, it's just Yakuza. They just know how to take advantage of that, and mm -hmm. they haven't stopped taking advantage of it this whole series. Six zero. Rough. Six zero. <laughs>
I'm so I'm so mentally broken here. I don't. <laughs> it's just yup. <laughs> well, we got a, we got a last head. stand scenario for Los Muchachos here. We're gonna get uh, relaxed against the wall, but they got a buzzer beater reverse six. <laughs> Yeah, You're gonna I mean, snort that G fuel. The tie is possible. It is. But how likely? I'm not entirely sure here. Operation Rising Hall. Oh, it's yeah. rising. Oh, I loved this map. This is the map where, oh, God, it was, um, oh, God, I can't remember the name of the team. But where they were playing around against Yakuza, actually, and screwing around in that arcade there, Ruin and Roach. That's what I remember specifically. I'll always remember that because it was actually really cool. I think that was, um, what was it? I can't remember. Anyways, <laughs> Rising Hall. I, I don't really recognize this map. I, I can't remember too many times I've played this, but interesting setup here. Um, a lot of wall charge and the door charge coming out on the storefront there from Yakuza. That's a that's a bold move, potentially. You know, hard calling that the defense is probably going to pick up on this wall charge, but not on this door charge, and, and maybe playing someone in this deep cubby there to swing. But, you know, if they clack both of those at the same time, that angle's done. Uh, and it looks like that may end up being the case, depending on how Los Muchachos play this defense. Uh -huh. But deep nade from Ghetto there out into uh, top ish storefront. Uh, two nades. Okay, there's two nades coming into play. One on that fridge's angle, and one uh, around kind of bottom teller. Probably hard calling some of the barbs there to to get into the bomb angle. I'm honestly not sure if that's what that is for, or if that's just kind of a uh, a power move. We'll see. We'll see. It could just be continuing to establish dominance like they have this whole series, but uh, should be an interesting round. Hmm. A lot of Los Muchachos player out of position for the storefront take. I mean, this this could be this could be a nightmare for Los Muchachos. Mm -hmm. I, the, I think that's the it's the wall charge. Yeah, the wall charge. Let me see a door charge on Freezer instead. Asbo taking some damage from Tommy there. I think Tetra's setting up to try and get him out though. But Asbo takes out Tommy instead. We see so I think uh, Tetra's flash. I think. Oh, Nate almost takes out Tetra there. So flashes in. Sweet Tea is taken out. We see Jet trying to get in, try and take that arcade. Does manage to take out Texas Red and flanks. Or Ghetto managed to get around and take a touch there, and it's Dr. Candy sitting in that teller, and that is it. It's just Dr. Candy there. So fast. Roach is gonna just start diffusing. I almost I almost couldn't really tell what's happening there because it just <laughs> moved in and they all just God, just the defenders ran back out. Dr. Candy trying to see what it does. Takes Swings, out Jet, but it's not enough. And the series goes to Yakuza. What is there to say? I mean, it was just a non-stop show of dominance from Yakuza there. And what happens when you watch like the second best team in the league? Yeah. No, well, I think that is largely how, you know, I think people would have predicted that matchup would have gone. But I think just based on how Los Muchachos have done in the previous two weeks, you know, one one might have thought, okay, well, they'll, they'll probably put up a little bit of a fight, maybe take you know, two, three, or four per per game here, but you know, two, seven, oh, seven, and really not much opposition shown from Los Muchachos here in that series, and and that's a that is a swift two zero for that series in Yakuza. That's uh, gonna have to definitely recoup from that on the Los Muchachos side and and figure out what went wrong, figure out how to adjust their play style because they know that they can perform against some of the top teams but today just something didn't click and yakuza taking advantage of that every way they can and just getting a a, a swift in and out victory here I'm not sure there's really much else to say here to be honest there unless it's you have any kind of one of the best thoughts. teams in the leagues continuing to be improved they're one of the best teams in the league that's it yeah i don't i mean it's what do you think they need to to change here? Because it it just kind of seemed like they they were never able to get into the map. They the utility wasn't there. I mean, do you think it's just figuring out how the pieces need to fit in the round, or if there's a a, a bigger issue, or if it was just Yakuza being that good of a team? You know, what do you think they need to change here for Los Muchachos? 
it's honestly hard to tell because we because we've seen I think Los Chachos has mostly gone against like some of the better teams with uh, what they had. I think the first one was GB as we mostly talk about, and then they went against Gnomes as well. And Gnomes, I mean, they could probably do okay. Oh no, okay, no, they, I think they did lose to Gnomes. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Yakuza here today. I I don't know. Maybe it's <sighs> trying to think because it could be maybe that, like we said. Uh, it could just be Yao Cruz is really good, but I definitely think there are some problems there. Some I think in the Gnomes yeah. game, we saw a bit of problem with communication. I could be wrong. It's been a little bit since then, about a week, so it's hard yeah. to remember exactly. But And they, they had some good communication here and there. Those first two rounds were very good. and Yeah, they, they, they looked very really good well. coming into the series, and it just kind of dropped off. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. I mean, Yakuza. <laughs> Very strong showing. Los Muchachos, you know, had their moments, but, you know, have quite a bit to, to look back on and, you know, use for week four coming out of this series. Um, 2 0. Yakuza, very, very strong showing. Um, we have a couple more matchups today. I believe we have, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's GB Gnomes. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm probably wrong, but if I say it confidently mm -hmm. enough. Um, so we got a couple more matchups. We got some matchups uh, on the mainstream and on the Bravo stream to look forward uh, to. Quack uh, versus LCG. That'll be a good game. Oh, Quackodama LCG. That's right. It's the, mm -hmm. it's the other matchup. Um, and then obviously lower leagues coming into Sunday. Um, mm -hmm. Unless you got any extra comments, um, I think this is this is pretty cut and dry. Uh, <laughs> great games, GGs. Both teams, you know, showing up, doing their best. Yakuza just coming out on top. Um, Unless you got anything else, I think we are going to head out for a little bit. Yeah, no, I think we're good here. We'll be back at you for, for some more matchups later on in the day. Yeah. We'll see Awesome. Ya. All right. It's been Doodler, Sick Hammer. Hello. Cheers. Glad to glad to cast with you. And uh, yeah. thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Adios.